Hi everyone, C Chronicles here. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're a first timer on this channel, my content consists of mostly fragrance reviews, fashion videos, lifestyle content, and a lot more. I do throw in some vlogs and story times as well. So if that sounds like something that will interest you or does interest you, um, please do consider subscribing. I would appreciate you becoming a part of this family. And to my returning subscribers, I want to say thank you so much for the support. I see you always. I see you in the comment section you are appreciated please do give me a follow on instagram i go by the name c chronicles there now to the business of the day i've got a zara here for you tropical boost is what we're going to be talking about um this is a 2022 composition it comes in this uh, packaging as you can see um this 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 i think is a nude collection so a lot of them come in this packaging and it's a slide out uh the sticky Okay, I actually opened that so that doesn't stick. And the bottle sits in there. So I think you've kind of come across a lot like this. So I don't have to go on and on about the packaging. And then uh, it says on the box, I am heavenly yummy. Okay, it says I'm heavenly yummy. And I think I conquer. I agree with that. Now, this is the bottle. This is Tropical Boost. I'm going to spray it right here uh, because I'm doing back-to-back -back videos. So I already have some fragrances on my arms that I've been testing. So Tropical Boost, here we go. I'm going to spray it here. As you can it's see, the top of this is pineapple, pink, uh, grapefruit, and it has some mandarin orange. Um, just saying the notes while it dries down. And then in the mid, it's got your jasmine, uh, rose, almond, uh, and almond milk and then in the base it's got brown sugar and woodsy notes that is what zara says okay so it opens up with like a fruity i'm gonna get something out of the way it says tropical i don't get a lot of tropicalness here so if you're gonna buy this for the tropicalness i think it's a hit or miss but it does open up sweet and fruity and the sweetness here feels a lot sherbety so candy like okay candy like to a point that i have actually tasted a sherbet that smells like this you can almost taste this in your mouth that is how fruity uh and juicy it is it does have a, a pineapple there which is in the top and this pineapple uh gives off like wafts of like a metallicness there uh because pineapple can have like a metallic feel to it just slightly and that metallicness there is captured beautifully however it doesn't bury the sweetness so it does remain a sweet fragrance it's fun it's juvenile it's young it's an easy reach um, it does list florals here like jasmine and the rose i can barely smell those by digging my nose the florals uh i think here because i can barely smell them i'm gonna say they're coming across as very very light and fresh because they are really muffled almost to a point of invisibleness uh, because of that fruity that fruity juicy fruity uh, top with that uh, grapefruit that mandarin orange all that is really doing the most in here so uh, that is what i get i also get a a, a faint nuttiness because of there is that uh, almond there okay and the faint nuttiness that i get here pulls this towards like a creamy kind of vibe so you're gonna get wafts of creaminess uh, however when I did my creamy fragrances I didn't include this one for the reason that if you are somebody who will take the note cream or creaminess in a fragrance and run with it uh, I didn't want people coming back and saying well I don't get the, the creaminess here so I did not uh, you know put this on my creamy fragrances in as much as I actually had it already in my collection the creaminess you'll get from here is not nothing close to the creaminess you you get for, uh, in frosted cream. Frosted cream is a heavy cream. I mean, you it's whipped cream in your face. So yes, there is that almond here, but the almond here, uh, I would say maybe comes across as the way the almond in Baccarat Rouge is done. And please don't quote me. I'm not saying this is a Baccarat Rouge clone, please. I am just saying the almond uh, there has a creaminess, which is sort of like in the same way as Baccarat, in the sense that you know, you can't come outright and say Baccarat Rouge 540 is a creamy fragrance in your face. I mean, you're going to have people asking you, hello, what do you mean? So um, that is what I get. OK, and I can see other people saying it's powdery. It does have like a lot of powderiness uh, from the opening all the way to the end. It is powdery and then it does have that brown sugar, very sugary, very sherbety, sweet uh, summer scent. OK, so I think zara went on to call it uh tropical boost because zara has a thing of naming fragrances 
anyhow if you go for this expecting that tropical pineapple i think they failed to interpret it that way so the tropicalness in here is not as obvious you know or as in a stereotype tropical fragrance which is um what example can i give you maybe like um the tropicalness that you will get say in versace crystal noir there is a tropical distinct tropicalness in there i don't get that from here i get a pineapple yes there is a pineapple but the pineapple the way they have actually mixed it up here as a note doesn't come across as tropical however it is a fruity fragrance so if you're into those stereotype tropical vibes and whatever and you pick this because it is called tropical boost uh this might not actually uh, you know tick that tropical thing that you'll be looking for so that is uh you know the the, the, the thing that i just wanted to get out there it is i believe a fragrance with the same dna as mark jacobs um mark jacobs what's the name of that one perfect okay perfect not perfect intense but perfect i am gonna you know try and maybe get a tester and then do a comparison because of late i have been doing comparisons i uh, i normally bring the or i usually bring the uh the alternatives because uh you know by default my channel uh became very popular for that but i actually do also have in most cases either sniff you know the original to compare with the dupe or sometimes actually have the original within my collection i don't have mark jacobs perfect for now but it is something that i was looking at purchasing in a 30 ml but when i purchase the uh, mark jacobs the 30 ml i'm gonna get the intense i am gonna try and sniff the you know the the the, the, the original one to see how it pairs with this one and then probably come in the future to give you a comparison of how far you know this fares in terms of what it's supposed to be inspired by so definitely if you're looking for an alternative for mark jacobs uh day um, mark jacobs perfect this may be a great pick however as a standalone scent it is a mood lifting uh youthful fragrance very summery in nature quite long lasting as well because what i did say in the previous videos and i keep saying is with the nude collection it seems as though zara whether this is the new i think it is the new uh, collection i think uh, zara listened to the people okay because i have fragrances for instance like um let me just reach out for for it here because i have my zaras right behind me i have these sort of fragrances these ones don't exactly last the reason why i purchased these myself is because these are refillable so you know i purchased this so that if i run out of fragrance and i don't need it i can then fill it up with whatever fragrance of my choice so i buy this mostly for the bottle but these don't last at all the ones that are in this kind of packaging or at least to my nose but what i can say about this the, the nude collection or at least the fragrances that are coming in this packaging is i think zara has done some homework i get about five four to five hours hours on this one and i have to re reapply but again it's a summer scent so uh you may actually do not have to reapply you know because you know it is a summer scent it is it, it comes alive in the heat this fragrance is also perfect for the skin okay i find that mine performs better directly on the skin than it does on the clothes for some reason i don't know in when i put it on my clothes it somehow vanishes but on my skin you know i carry that yumminess all through the day although of course you know it is very active for about five hours and then it starts to die down so that is what i had for you guys um zara's tropical boost so you let me know in the comment section if you have this fragrance or if you're looking to purchase it c chronicles is my name thank you so much for joining me today let's meet in more videos where i bring you more fragrances uh stay blessed guys stay safe and remember smelling good is a form of good manners cheers